decision for yourself. Feel free to sit either cross-legged or on your heels or sit on a block or a cushion. And just when you come to this position, you know, this may be the first time you sat on the floor today, okay? So just get to get to grips with your grounding, okay? Maybe rock a little forwards and backwards, side to side. Maybe give the shoulders a few little rolls. Feel free to do a couple of little twists. And just getting those shoulders into a nice relaxed position. And when we go into our breathing, just being conscious, considerate, and just trying to change just a little bit of energy coming in and out of the body. All right, so if we settle, just lay your hands upon your knees. And if you feel okay with it, just shutting your eyes. And let's take a nice long deep breath in through your nose. Slowly breathing out through your nose. Take a nice long deep breath in. Breathing all the way back out. Take a long deep breath in. Breathing all the way back out. And this time, take a longer, deeper breath in. And gently nodding your chin, holding on to your breath. And then raising your chin back up. Breathing all the way back out again. Take a long deep breath in. And gently nodding your chin, holding on to your breath. And then raising your chin back up. Breathing all the way back out again. And then this time, take a longer, deeper breath in. And then breathing all the way back out and going way down to the bottom of your exhalation. Lower down your chin, holding your breath out. Raising your chin back up, breathing in. One more time, breathing out. And breathing out as completely as you can. Lowering down your chin and holding your breath out. And raising chin back up, breathing on in and out. And now just carrying on with that breath flow. Keep it strong. Try and feel that the breath is a little bit deeper, a little bit stronger. Now clasping your fingers together. Raising your arms high above your head. Taking a deep breath in. As you breathe out, let's take a little rotation with your upper body. Breathing in, bring it back to the middle. Breathing out, a little rotation with your upper body. Breathing in, back to the middle. Breathing out, let's lower down your hands. Let's just gently lift yourself up into your knees. Sit back upon your heels and reaching your hands all the way up towards the top end of your mat. Raising your 
releasing the chin. And as we gently draw the body along the ground, stay close to the floor, drawing down the shoulders and lifting the chin, curling your toes, sending the hips away and drawing your head down through your arms. Come forwards into a nice high plank and then bending with your knees and sitting back to your heels. Breathing in as you draw the body to pull up and through. And then breathing out as you push back off into a long downward facing dog. Breathing in, draw forwards to a high plank. And breathing out, bend your knees and sit on back. Breathing in, drawing the body up and through. And breathing out, send your hips away, draw your head down through your arms. Breathing in, draw forwards to plank. And breathing out to bend your knees and sit back. Breathing in as you draw the body to pull up and through. And breathing out, send the hips away, lengthen all the way around the back of your body. Breathing in, draw forwards to a high plank. And breathing out, bend your knees and sit back. Breathing in, drawing the body up and through. Breathing out, send the hips away, nice long downward facing dog. Breathing in, draw forwards to a plank. Breathing out, bend your knees and sit back. One more time, breathing in, pull up and through. And then breathing out, this time staying in the downward dog. And let's walk from foot to foot. And let's work the hips from side to side, spreading your fingers wide to the mat. And lengthening down along one side of the body and then the other side of your body. Just being aware of how the body feels today, your energy. Okay, now leaving the heels back towards the ground, walking your hands back on in. And let's just take a little hang here. Take a hold of your elbows. Draw your head down. Let's just take three sighs. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, sigh out and try and let your body hang a little bit lower to the ground. Breathing in. And breathing out, sigh out. One more time. Deep breath in. And sigh out. And letting go of your legs and your arms, slowly unroll, draw all of the way back on up and clasping your fingers high above your head, deep breath in, as you breathe out, take a side bend, lengthening along the side of your body, breathing in, bring it back on up, breathing out, take along that side bend. Breathing in to bring it back on up. And breathing out, letting your arms release back and down. Step on up to the top of your mat for me. Hands in your heart. First round of sun salutations. Let's take a breath in, raising both arms. As you breathe out, diving your body forwards. Breathing in, step back with your right leg. Reach towards the back end of your mat and releasing your toes back into the ground. Breathing out, let's step back, hold into a high plank, and breathing in, drop down to your knees, your belly and your chest. Breathing out as you draw up into an upward dog, sliding down the elbows, releasing the neck and shoulders. And breathing in as you lower, breathing out, push up to plank, then back off into a downward dog. Breathing in, right foot, stepping through, lifting the chin and releasing the toes back. And breathing out, left leg, stepping through and folding. Breathing in, pull up through the belly, over the chest, gaze up to your thumbs. And breathing out, follow your thumbs back down to your heart. Breathing in, raising both of your arms. Breathing out, diving your body forwards. Breathing in, left leg, stepping right away to the back of your mat. Rise up onto your fingertips. And then breathing out, let's step back and hold into a high plank. 
Breathing in, come down to your knees, belly and chest. And breathing out, upward facing dog, relaxing the legs, your muscles. Breathing in as you lower, curl the toes, engage the core. Breathing out, push up to your strong plank. Back off into a downward dog. Breathing in, left leg steps through. Lifting the chin, releasing the toes back. Breathing out, right leg steps on through. Take a breath in as we come all of the way back out to standing. Gaze up to your thumbs. Breathing out, follow your thumbs back to your heart. Breathing in, let's raise both arms. Breathing out, dive your body forwards. Breathing out, right leg stepping back. Now this time, release your knee. Let it stay upon the ground. Bring your upper body back for me. Just raising your arms here into the open arms. You've got a little kind of Y shape with your arms. If you can, you're looking up, just drawing forwards into that hip flexor stretch. And then letting your arms down and just moving back upon the back knee, drawing back your toes and coming to a calf and hamstring stretch. Extend a little back through the tailbone. Press a little down from the center of your chest. Now you can leave it like that today. Or I'm just going to step over my right hand and take my fingertips a little bit further away and across to the side. So you may start to get a little bit more of a stretch coming into the lower back on the right hand side. back on round, lean it forwards again and then step the feet back together behind you and again either come down knees down your chest or this time bend at the elbows and softly lower your body through your arms. Now lay your hands beneath your chin, I'm going to take up one leg and just very gently send it back, just slightly and then bring it back on down. Now we're going to go to the other leg. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, raise the other leg and just send it back a little. Begin to wake up those back muscles, breathing in, coming back down. Changing legs, breathing out, right leg coming up. If you want to go further, bend the knee and touch the ground to the side of you. Breathing in, coming back. Breathing out, raising the leg up, bend the knee, point the toe back, and breathing in. But the idea of this is that we're on the move, active stretching, and we just take it over as far as the body feels is happy with today. Just dropping your chin down upon your fingers, no tension in the neck. Two more there if you can. So you're breathing out, sending the leg over, Breathing in to come back down. And again, breathing out, send the leg over. Breathing in as you come back down. And placing your hands beneath your shoulders. Breathing in, drawing into your upward dog. Breathing out as you lower. Let's curl the toes, engage the core. Breathe in, push up to plank. And breathe out into your long downward facing dog. Breathing and then step the right foot forward, so between your hands, release the knee and lifting the chin. Breathing out, step your left foot forwards and fall to your knees. Breathing in, flood through the belly, open the shoulders, open the chest, gaze to your thumbs. Breathing out, hands coming back in towards your heart. Breathing in, let's raise both arms. Breathing out and diving your body forwards. Breathing in, left leg steps back. Stretch that leg all the way towards the back end of your mat. Come back up again with your upper body. Again, if it feels okay, raise those arms up into a, a little open Y shape. Always keeping the knee in alignment here with your ankle in front. So you've got a stable position. Head can be up if that feels okay. And just keep that breath going, in through your nose, out through your nose. And then letting your arms down. And let's move on to that back knee. 
Dig the heel in, draw your toes back, coming into the calf and hamstring stretch. If we're able, we're starting to try and flatten the back line out a little by extending through the tailbone. And if you'd like to, step your fingers over the top and walk your fingers to the right. So you're going to feel a little bit of a stretch coming up into that left hand lower back. If it's enough already where you are, you do not need to go anywhere. And then walking it back round, wave that back up onto your foot. Let's slide the feet together behind you. And either knees, belly and chest or bend at the elbows and lower yourself down to the ground. Taking your feet about as wide as your mat and take your right arm across the top of your mat. Now as we come up into our reverse turn on cobra, again know that if you have your arm slightly further forwards it will make it more gentle. The closer you bring your arm in towards you, the steeper the incline of your cobra. So it's up to you. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, raise the body. Gently look up over your shoulder. And again, if you do find that your body starts to brace a little, all right, come back round, relax it out again and go into it again. All right, because particularly if you haven't done this for a while, sometimes your body throws up a little bit of resistance. All right, and then it, it, it doesn't feel so comfortable. So if you do get a day like that, maybe your back's a little tighter than normal, come back down and go back in. And you might find the second time it's a bit easier. Bring it back round to the middle and swap your arms over. Fingertips down to the floor. The fingertips are there to encourage you. The forearm is there to support you. As you come up, breathing out, looking up over your shoulder, and you may be able to view a foot. You may be able to see both feet. And bring it slowly back on round. Hands beneath your shoulders, gently draw into an upward dog. Ideally, you've got the hips on the ground, shoulders are down, elbows tucked in, collarbones open. And then releasing back down. Feet a little bit closer, engage your core, breathe in as you push up to plank, breathe out as you press off into your downward facing dog. Breathing in, left leg stepping through, lifting the chin and releasing the toes back. And then breathing out, right leg stepping through and we're folding against your legs. Breathing in to pull up through the belly, over the chest, gaze to your thumbs. Breathing out, hands coming back in towards your heart. This time breathing in, raising both arms. Breathing out and diving your body forwards. Breathe in, step back with your left foot, leaving your right leg at the top of your mat this time. Have a look down, see that your heels are on the same line. Just draw down your right elbow to your right knee. You're going to come into a couple of arm circles here. As you sweep your arm forwards, brush the ground. As you draw back, follow your fingers back. As you come forwards, breathe in. As you breathe out, open the chest, armpit. And again, breathing in. And this time as you breathe out, make a big cartwheel all the way back. Reach around for your waist or your thigh. Tuck your tailbone under. Come into preparation of extended side stretch. Okay, and then as we come out of it, go into full extended side stretch. So first of all, I'm just going to bring back over that left arm. So it goes up past your ear, towards the short end of your mat. If you feel you can, releasing your right elbow, take your right hand to the ground and then start to bend the knee a little bit more so your body is lower to the floor. Now letting that arm come around the front of your body, pushing hard through your right foot and come through warrior two. Just want to hold it here today. So tuck your tailbone under, bend your right knee, 
Gaze along the center of your right hand. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Just give a quick check out that your back arm's in alignment with your front arm. Now reaching towards your reverse, stretch out from your waist, lengthen along the front side of your body. And then come back up, straighten the front leg completely. Reach out towards the right and take the right hand towards your right leg and stretch out the left hand over the side of your body. Now in this position, try not to let your, your bottom stick out. So pull it under, trying to keep your ribs and your hips on the same line. Right, everything, your whole body is facing out towards the long edge of your mat now. Deep breath in, and as you breathe out, draw down the left hand towards your right leg. Take your right hand to your lower back. To go further, you can slide your hand to the far side of your right foot. And then to go further, you can raise your left hand to the ceiling. Now, if you get a little bit of discomfort behind the right knee, just gonna bend it for me. Right, try not to push too hard into some of these postures. Now bending a little into your right knee, clasp your fingers to the back of you, moving your shoulder on the inside of your knee, coming into a humble warrior. If your balance is a bit shaky, look forwards. If it's okay, look under, look towards your back foot, and letting your arms hang up and over. to the inside of your foot and from here we're just going to roll onto the outside edge of your back foot. Now with your right foot you can stack it on top of your left to, to come up into a side plank or you can take the first two fingers around your right big toe and maybe see if you can draw it up towards the ceiling today. and come into lizard. I'm just going to pop this in. So we're going to be working to bird of paradise in a moment. I'm just going to give you the best possible chance of getting that leg up. Right? So it's really working into that stretch all the way around the top of your right hip. Okay, about the top of your right leg going into your hip. Very top of your hamstrings. All right, drawing it back on up, turn the foot straight again. Now curling the toes on the back leg and bring your back leg in half of your stride. So if you were to place two palms, okay, onto the floor, that will be the span between your heels. All right, just so that you've got a little bit of a gauge here. Squaring off your hips so they're pressing out towards the short end of the mat. Reaching round and either taking a back prayer position where the thumbs end up on the top or holding your elbows. Move out from your waist and either stay at halfway or move down and along the leg and go for a, a very thorough hamstring stretch. Chin comes towards your shin. Moving forwards a little, and let's start to think about coming into warrior three. Weight there slightly ahead, bring your upper body up high enough though, try not to lean it too far forward, so lift the back leg. Hips are facing the ground. And then draw down your right fingertips to the floor. Indeed, you can have both hands on the ground if you prefer. Point the toes on the back leg if you'd like to, open out into your half moon balance. Now slowly bring your hand back down, 
bring down your left leg and have your feet about a hip distance apart. Bend your knees and take your right arm on the inside of your right leg, reach around behind you and see if you can find the fingers. If you don't quite meet, use a sock, you know, or a bridger, okay, a band. Now pushing hard into the left foot, looking forwards. Push down and then start to lift your right leg, if you can. And then extending your leg, maybe a little towards the ceiling. All right, good. Bend the knee. Take your time. Come slowly back down to the floor. Release your arms and hang down towards your legs. Take a deep breath in, coming all of the way back up to standing. And breathing out, hands back into your heart. All right, letting your arms down. We're going to come into a couple of balances here. So today we're going to work in with your tree. We're going to work dancer and we're going to work half lotus. And when we get to half lotus, if you have anything going on with your knee, your ankle, it feels really uncomfortable, go to tree for the second time or flying pigeon, okay? That would be fine, okay? Change it up if it doesn't feel good today. First of all, let's open up the shoulders, open up the chest, get that strong engagement with your core, spread out your toes, and then pick up the right foot, place it, either to the calf or above the knee. Hands in your heart. And slowly making your way up through your body and taking your right hand back behind your left. Again, encouraging the knee to open, encouraging the standing leg to be a little bit straighter. Letting down your right hand, turning right leg and taking a hold of your foot. Just letting your foot rest down into your hand. Taking your left arm forward and then if you catch, start to gently bring back your right leg, going into a quad stretch. Slowly bring it back and through. Now for half lotus, we receive the leg from underneath with both of the hands. Remember, hands are for receiving, not grabbing. So as we pull it in and we roll it down, it should go sort of towards the floor. All right, so that's what I'm saying is don't push anything. If it's not ready to open up fully yet, don't worry. So you could go back to our first position again Okay, or you could go into any other position of your choice. So I'm gonna reach my right hand back around. You can either take your elbow or you can slide down and take your big toe. It doesn't need to end there. If you wish to fold, bend the knee so the foot comes a little bit higher to the top of your left thigh. Then from there, fingertips down towards the floor, either both hands or one hand, and drawing the head downwards. Taking the gaze back up again, bending the knee, slowly drawing back on up, hands into your waist for me today. Extend the leg, press it away, hold it out straightish, and then slowly bring it back on down. All right, make your way up to the top of your mat if you've migrated back. Let's take a deep breath in, raising both arms. Breathing out, let's open the chest and fall forwards. Breathing in, right leg stepping back, left leg up at the top. And let's just draw down your left elbow to your left knee. Now start to bring through your right arm, let it brush towards the ground, breathing in. Follow your fingers as the arm opens back and down. And again, breathing in, draw your arm forwards. 
breathing out, open the shoulder and the chest. This time, breathing in, nice big circle. Draw it back and let it come all the way back behind you if you're in your waist or your thigh. Look back over your shoulder, get that reverse turning in through the neck again. And now let's release back out your right arm. Let it come up past your ear and look up towards your hand. Then from here, if you can, taking down left hand towards the floor, bending the knee a bit more, extend the side stretch. So rolling the body open, and then bring that hand around the front of your body, pushing hard through your left leg, go on up into warrior two. So we've got the heels on line still, we're going to bend deeply into that left knee for me. Check out your right arm, make sure your right arm is in alignment with your left arm. And gazing along the center of your left finger, your left hand. And then just coming back into reverse, stretching into the oblique muscles along the front of your body. And bring the arm back over, straighten up the front leg. And now from here, we're going to move the upper body to slide out to the left without going forwards and backwards. And then reaching down, left hand towards your left leg. Right arm coming up. So really opening up the side body and also working into your lower back. Okay, lower back range of motion is a big deal. All right, it's the area of the body that we lose a little as we get older. So any way we can, be it rotation, back bending, or side bending, it's all going to help. Now let's bring down the right hand, take it towards your left leg, take your left hand to your lower back, and if this is enough today, stay, look back. If you can go further, take your hand beyond your foot. We could be taking the left hand up, looking up towards it. And as I was saying before, if you need to bend your knee on this one, if you've got intense um, feelings behind the knee, it doesn't necessarily mean that's the right area of your leg that should be stretching. All right, just be protective around those sort of areas. All right, let's bring it back down. Let's give the neck a little rest. So let the head drop down, clasp your fingers back behind. And then either look forwards if your balance is a bit shaky, or look towards your back foot and let your arms drop over further. And then bring it back on up, placing both of your hands to the inside of your foot. Rolling to the outside edge of your back foot and preparing for your side plank. So be it you stack your left foot on top of your right, or take your first two fingers around your left big toe and send the leg up in that variation of side plank. And then bring the leg back round. Place your foot downwards. Both hands on the inside and gently let the back knee down upon the ground. Now let's turn open your front foot and then gently draw down on the inside of your leg the lizard. So I'm just going to give that hip a little bit more of an opener here. Straighten up your foot, curl the toes on your back leg, and then just lift the back leg in a little bit closer. So draw it down so you've got about two palms between your heels. Check that your heels are on the same line. Your front foot is foot facing forwards. The back foot is a 45 degree angle coming out. As we come up to halfway, square the hips off towards the short end of your mat. 
Lengthen through your tailbone and move out from your waist. As if you're trying to reach towards somebody, but you're stuck. Take your hands back either to a half to a back prayer or hold your elbows. And then either stay halfway or lower your chin to your shin. And breathe. Nice deep breaths into the hamstrings, calf muscle. Bend a little into your left knee, rise the body up, move forward slightly and lift the back leg from the ground if you can. Hips facing forwards, the back foot is flexed as if you're stood on the ground. And then drawing down either left fingers or both of your hands. Point the toes on the back leg, roll the hip out, turning yourself over towards the right hand side and looking up towards your right hand. And then slowly draw your hand down, replace your right foot to the ground but come down with about hip distance apart. Bend your knees, take your left arm between your legs and go around and underneath the left leg, see if you can find the right hand. And then weight bear onto your right foot, and then see, holding the leg, if you can come back up to standing. Bird of paradise. It's a tricky, tricky balance, this one. And then once you're there, maybe extending the leg up. And then coming back down, bending the knee, folding yourself down, letting go of your arms, hold against your legs, and let's take a deep breath in, coming all the way back up, and breathing out, hands back into your heart. All right, let's prepare. Okay, we're gonna come up into another couple of balances here. So standing nice and tall, shoulders open, Belly pulled in. And as we lift up the left foot, either place it above or below the knee. We're just trying to avoid pushing against a joint, okay? With, especially with a hinging joint, you don't really want to push onto the outside edge of it too much. And then as we come up, reaching upwards towards the ceiling, left hand coming back behind the right, perhaps. Chin lifts. Let down your left hand, turning your left leg, and then let's from here start to move it forwards, pressing your leg away if you can, lifting your chin up. top of your right hip or top of your right leg, letting that knee draw downwards. Again, do what you can, don't force anything. If you want to reach around with your left hand, either for your elbow or for your big toe. If you wish to fold, bending your standing leg, that'll send your foot a little higher to the top of your leg, which should make things a little bit easier. And then you're drawing your head down. Gazing up, bending the knee a little on the way up. And then hands into your waist. Straighten the leg away if you can. And then lowering them all of the way back down. Letting go. Okay, step down. I'm going to 
Okay, get you off your feet. I'm sure you've had enough time on your legs today. So heels are together, toes are slightly apart. We're going to raise on up into your toes. By all means, come down a different way if this does not suit you. As you lower down, knees are bending, drawing down. I'm going to come down into your crow position. So a little bit of an upper body weight bearing, bending a little at the elbows. My knee is going to push either, you can do this in two different ways, outside of the arms is a little bit easier, up underneath your armpits is going to be a little bit harder. So wherever you are, okay, find your way, grip a little onto your arms, keep your gaze forwards, and then gently find a centre of gravity. So again, something like this, it takes a little while, so don't worry. All right, if you haven't done it for a bit, you're finding it's a little bit, a bit hard work, all right? Keep going with it. Maybe having a cushion in front of you sometimes, it gives you a bit more confidence. And then just keep going, all right? Just keep practicing with it. I'm just trying to find up that very little tiny change in balance from being on your feet to being on your hands. All right, once you've had a little play there, come around to a seated position for me. And I'm just going to talk through the breath and usage of your core. So when we're coming to our Pilates work, we want a lateral thoracic breath, which basically means the rib cage widens as you breathe in, and then as you breathe out, we draw the navel back to the spine. All right, so feeling for two areas. Here that the rib cage widens, breathe in, and here that the tummy remains flat. Then when you breathe out, draw the navel back to the spine and try and draw your belly back behind your fingers. So again, as you breathe in, the ribs widen. As you breathe out, the navel draws back to the spine. And you want to feel the tummy reducing, okay, as it pulls in and let go. So that's very much in short, a little of your Pilates te technique. I'm gonna roll you back, okay? So if you use a, a band or a scarf or anything around your feet for this one, by all means, place that into position. Also, if your back's a little bit tight, hopefully it's not too bad by now, but you could put a cushion behind your back too. Now, relaxing out your shoulders. Just as we said about deep breath in, the ribs widen. And then as you breathe out, draw the navel back to the spine and carefully start to lower your body back. Stop about halfway, breathing in. And breathing out, really pull in, really focus on the core and bring yourself back up. Deep breath in, ribs widen. As you breathe out, draw the navel back to the spine and start to gently roll. Maybe you go back a little further. Breathing in, breathing out to slowly draw the body back on up. Again, breathing in, the ribs widen. As you breathe out, start to sink down through the back. If you can touch down, imprint, shoulder blades down, breathing in, and then just as smoothly come back up. So try not to jerk the body into position. Deep breath in, ribs widen. As you breathe out, suck back up into the belly, relaxing your shoulders and working your body back. Breathing in, and as you breathe out, again, imprinting the spine and peeling the body up to a tall seated position. Again, breathe in. As you breathe out, slowly lowering back down through the back. Breathing in. As you come back up, breathing out and drawing the body back up. All right, staying in seated this time. Now I'm going to come into sore, but also putting in spine stretch forwards too. So I've got two little things going on together. In this position, it really is all about the posture. Okay, so sitting your body up nice and tall. 
Now, if you are prone to wanting to lean back, I'd like you to get a little cushion or a book and I'd like you to sit your bottom on, okay? If when we get going on this position, you start to get a little bit of tension building up in your quad muscles, all right, that could be again due to the fact that your body would rather be leaning backwards than being on top of your sit bones. As your back strength improves, as your posture becomes better, you will be sat on top of your sit bones, so you will no longer have these problems, okay? But if you are back there today, then what I would say is sit up on something higher so that it makes this position more successful for you today. When we turn also with this position, try not to get carried away with the shoulders. So as we turn, we want to turn from the waist, and as we round the back, we're lengthening over and across, drawing the body back on up, and then drawing back round to the center, but really being careful to turn from the ribs. So breathing in, turn from the middle of your body, breathing out to gently lengthen over and across. Breathing in as you draw the body up, breathing out, engaging your core, come back to the middle, let your arms down. Now this time, breathing in, draw the chin forwards. As you breathe out, round the back, and imagine you're peeling away from a wall. Breathing in when you get to the bottom. Breathing out as you pull up through the belly. Drawing all of the way back on up. Use your core to lift you up and collarbone and neck come long at the top. Bring your arms away from you for me. Breathing in as you rotate. Breathing out to round over and across. Breathing in as you come back up. Breathing out, navel back to the spine, bringing you back to the middle. Breathing in as you turn. Breathing out to lengthen over and across. Breathing in to come back up. Breathing out, engaging your core back to the middle, let your arms down. Breathing in, nodding the chin. Breathing out, peel the body forwards, one vertebrae at a time, draw the navel back to the spine. Breathing in at the bottom, breathing out and pull up through the belly. Use your core to bring you back up. Feel it pulling your back up to a vertical position and then the collarbone opens. We have one more set, lengthen your arms. Breathing in, turning your upper body. Breathing out to gently round over and across. Breathing in to draw the body back up. Breathing out, navel back to the spine. Breathing in to turn the upper body. Breathing out to draw the body over and across. Breathing in to come back up. Breathing out, navel back to the spine, back to the middle, let your arms down. Breathing in, nod the chin. Breathing out, rounding the body forwards. Breathing in at the bottom. Breathing out as you pull up through the belly, drawing all of the way back on up, and shoulders open back at the top. If you have anything that you're sat beneath, take it away now, and I'm going to bring you back down onto the ground. Just a nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, let's lower the body down. Okay, now I'm going to bring the feet up into the air. I'm going to work into a double leg extension. So the soles of the feet are going to come together. The knees are open in a nice wide diamond. And as we drive the legs away from the body, breathing out, as you draw the heels and the feet together, draw them down. Breathing out, press the legs away from your body. And breathing in as you lower back. Breathing out to drive the legs away, breathing in to draw back down. Now to make this harder, we can come up with the head and shoulders, supporting the head. We have a distance of a fist between your chin and your chest, and the elbows are really wide. As you drive the legs away, draw the navel back to the spine. So if you were to put your hands on your belly, 
You want to feel the belly drawing back behind your fingers. Breathing in the ribs wider, breathing out the belly draws back. Now if your neck doesn't need support, bring your arms down by your side on when your legs are down. And when you breathe out, your legs go out, take your arms above your head. That's going to make it a little bit more challenging. Breathing in, breathing out to press out and away. Breathing in to draw down. Breathing out to engage the core, pressing away. Breathing in to draw down. Breathing out to press away. Breathing in to draw down. And again, breathing out to extend. Breathing in one more time. Breathing in. All right, coming back down with the head, neck, and shoulders. Just reach down and be able to take your heels with your fingertips. I'm finishing with your shoulder bridge today. So we take a breath in to prepare, and as you breathe out, imprint your lower back and start to peel the back off the ground. Travel all of the way up onto your shoulders. Breathing in to stay. And breathing out to lower your back down, vertebrae by vertebrae, into an imprint and back to neutral. Breathing in, breathing out, work your imprint, peel the back off the ground, try not to clench your buttocks. Breathing in at the top, and then breathing out to work it down. So again, it's another mobility exercise for your back. The temptation here as we lift is to clench the buttocks. So try your best not to. You're lifting to your shoulders. Breathing in. And then breathing out as you're lowering all of the way back. Okay, now I'm going to add on to this next one. As you lift, breathing out, coming up onto your shoulders. And then from here, lifting just one heel from the floor, breathing out. And breathing into lower. Breathing out, lifting the other heel, breathing into lower. Now placing your fingers upon your hip bones and feel that the balance of your hip bones remains the same, it's balanced. And when you lift your heel, can you imagine in your mind that you could draw your hip bones together? So I want you to try and do that. As you lift the heel, try and draw your hip bones together. They won't move, okay? But it's that feeling of really drawing inwards behind the surface muscles. And as you lift the heel, you're destabilizing the body, but we want to keep the body in the same balance. So it's just a very subtle heel lift, breathing into lower. Breathing out to heel lift, breathing into lower. Really finding that Deep core center when you lift. Okay. Breathing out to lift into lower. Two more. Again, try not to clench your buttocks. And one more. Take a breath in. And then let's lower the back all of the way down. All right. Now, again, you could use your band for the next one. I'm just going to take one leg up, drawing up with my right leg first of all. I'm just going to ease it down towards. Now you could straighten your left leg if that feels okay. I'm just going to ease that leg in. But by all means, if you have a band that you'd like to use or a scarf, you could use it around the leg. Just releasing the leg out. A little bit of work comes into the hamstrings sometimes in, in the shoulder bridge. And let's release that leg down, swap legs, bring the leg in. You can have the other leg bent up if you need to today. Just ease that other leg in towards you. And release it back down. Okay, gently come up, back on up to seated. Maybe holding one knee or rolling to one side, then come around. 
Now I'm going to keep the knees bent and I'm going to go in and under the legs and I'm going to reach around if I can for my elbows. So if you can't reach your elbows today, hold your wrists. And then once you get a hold, start to go backwards. So pull away on your legs and draw your head down. underneath my knees and then I'm going to draw back even further but again still rounding the back still pulling the belly in drawing the head down shoulders down and then go to the hands hold the other way around and do that again Slowly let them down, then go the other way, open your arms way back, open out the shoulders and the chest, lengthen down as with your hands, sitting up tall and then just dropping your chin down. And then let's draw the head across a little, looking down into the corner of your body. into the middle, bring the head back up, lower one ear over towards one shoulder, and then slowly over to the other shoulder. Breathing in, 
pull up, use your abdominals to pull you up, breathing out, letting it down. And just giving the shoulders a few little rolls. You are all finished for tonight. Okay, very well done, everybody. 